Hey guys, and welcome back to More Than Just a Dog. My name is Kayla, and this week the AKC made two big announcements that I am super excited to talk about. So let's get started and jump right into the very first one, which apparently was such a good idea from everyone's opinion or perspective that it actually goes into effect in just about a week. On December 1st, 2022, it's official that if your dog competes in grad open, grad novice, or versatility classes in AKC obedience, then they can jump something called half height. Now, for those of you guys who are new to the sport and you're just starting to learn, jump heights are determined by how tall a dog is at the withers or their shoulders. So for example, Callie, the Doberman Pinscher that I co-own and occasionally show, she is about 26 inches at the shoulder and therefore in competition, she jumps 26 inch tall jumps. If you have a golden retriever that's 24 inches, they would jump 24 inches. If you have a Shetland Sheepdog that's 16 inches, for example, they would jump 16 inches. But occasionally there is an exception to the rule and Pembroke Welsh Corgis are one of them. So while Callie, who is a let's say normally structured dog. She jumps her full height of 26 inches. Maya is 12 inches tall at the shoulder, but because of her structure long and low to the ground, the AKC has made a list of dogs that are allowed to jump something called three quarter height. So instead of jumping 12 inches in competition, she jumps eight inches. And there's an entire list, like I said, that the AKC has put together. And you can see if your dog qualifies for three quarter height or for full height by checking out that list. But now with this rule change, one of the things that's great about it is it's actually more inclusive for other dogs. So instead of just being available for dogs in their prime, ready to jump that normal jump height, it's inclusive for dogs that are young, for example, and still building their confidence with jumps. It's inclusive for dogs that maybe are coming back from an injury and they're not quite ready for full height or competition yet. And it's also great for senior dogs. And I've got a soft spot in my heart for that right now because Maya unfortunately now is considered a senior dog at almost 10 years old. And while she can still jump those eight inches, there may come a day where she still wants to compete, but it's better for her health and safety if she jumps four. So I'm really excited about this rule change. And like I said, apparently everybody is. The fact that that goes into effect in just a few days, everyone must have been on board. But then there's the other announcement. The AKC also said that they're considering asking clubs by summer of 2024 to replace what we call the high jump with displaceable jumps. Again, for those of you guys who are maybe new or learning about the sport, in obedience, there are three different types of jumps that your dog might find. It's the bar jump, the broad jump, and the high jump. Right now, the high jump is also considered a solid jump, which means that if your dog makes contact with the jump, the jump's not going anywhere. So if your dog misjudges the distance, takes that jump, and unfortunately collides with the jump, they are going to crash. The jump's not really going to move, and unfortunately that can cause injury. And while it's not super common for dogs to do that, by the time they get to the place that they're competing with jumps, it's pretty abnormal for them to come into contact so hard with a jump that it's going to actually stop their momentum or fall completely over. It's not completely unheard of. In fact, in 2019, when Maya was competing for her utility dog title, she needed one more leg. She was almost all the way through her entire performance when for whatever the reason, she misjudged the bar jump and she collided with it. But because the bar jump by definition is displayed when a dog comes into contact with it, the bar spills onto the floor, she wasn't injured. But I remember thinking that day as we drove away from the show, wow, I'm really glad that was the bar jump and not the high jump because she could have been injured had it happened to her if she had done it with the high. This rule proposal that is going to be readdressed in January of 2023 is a really good idea. The idea that you want to make this sport safer is something that we should all be on board with. But of course, it's the internet and we're dog people. And so somehow we found controversy even in making the sport safer for our dogs. I've seen comments like, well, this is gonna be kind of expensive for our clubs. And I've also seen comments that are like, well, we're watering down the tradition of the sport. I've also seen a comment that just seemed wildly off base. I'm not really sure how this person thought that this was somehow supposed to make our dogs jump higher. I think she misunderstood the purpose of the rule. But regardless of why people are complaining, I don't understand it. How could you be anything less than on board with trying to make the sport safer for our dogs? So the rest of this video is for the AKC and those of you guys who are going to be voting on whether or not this rule change should take place. From me, the answer is a resounding yes, it should. 
It's not unheard of for displaceable jumps to be in other sports. If you go and you watch show jumping, for example, all of their jumps are displaceable. Even the ones that look like huge seven foot tall brick walls are made of something that would just completely fall apart if the horse misjudges a distance or takes a bad step or, or heaven forbid, just doesn't take the jump at all. It's also normal in human sports to expect the same thing, right? When you watch the Olympics, pole vaulters don't have to worry about whether or not that jump is gonna move if they can't quite make the height. They don't have to worry in a high jump whether or not that bar is gonna move. And hurdlers don't have to worry about whether or not the jump will move if they accidentally hit it. All of those jumps are displaceable. And for the record, so are the ones in obedience, except for the high jump. The broad jump moves if the dog touches it too hard. If they come into contact with the bar jump the wrong way, the bar spills to the floor. And yet the high jump, which is the jump that we use most often of the three in the sport of obedience, is solid. Why do we not expect the same safety with the high jump? The other thing that I would point out is that 10 years ago, it was considered controversial to ask the AKC to change the tires in agility to breakaway tires. For so long, it was literally a ring that the dog had to jump through. And if the dog misjudged that distance, significant injuries could occur. And around 10-ish years ago, the AKC made a rule that all tires could be breakaway. And because of that, there are dogs who have come into contact with those tires, but have ended up being fine on the other side. It reduced injuries injuries and really didn't have a negative impact on the sport at all. I'd also point out that you already have displaceable jumps in the form of the bar jump and the broad jump. And the fact that those can move if the dog comes into contact with them doesn't have a negative impact on the competitiveness of the dogs. In fact, if anything, it allows for dogs to continue to compete past a misjudgment. If we're looking for ways to make the sport safer with just minor improvements here and there, this should be an obvious yes from everybody. This is a very minor change that 10 years from now we won't believe was at one point a controversy for some people. Just like if you talk to agility competitors today, not a single one of them is going to argue for solid tire jumps anymore. This is a great opportunity for us to make the sport safer for dogs, which means that long term more dogs are going to be able to compete for longer. And I am fully on board. So if you are also on board with this change, if you value your dog's safety in this sport and you want the AKC to make this change from solid jumps to displaceable jumps, then give this video a thumbs up to let me know. And of course, let the AKC know too. And if you want to nerd out about obedience and other canine sports, then just hit subscribe and ring the bell. That way you get alerted every single time we post a new video. In the meantime, thanks so much for joining us for this one. And no matter what you do with your dog next, good luck, have fun, and be safe. See ya.